Hey everybody, it's Mergul, and today in this one I just wanted to quickly make a guide covering how the Great Vault works. So the Great Vault is your week-to-week -week chest in Shadowlands, located here at the Hall of Holding. I'm sitting in front of it right now. Can't interact with it, because it's obviously not there, but you're going to start contributing to this vault next week. So, at first, when I read this, I was kind of confused by it, and that's why I was hoping this video might help somebody out there that might have shared the same confusions I did. Now, I'm going to pop up many things on the screen here just describing it, but um, as you can see, the Great Vault here is broken down into three categories. There's Raids, Mythic Dungeons, and PvP. Now, I like this system because it offers you a very wide variety of things you can do to uh, contribute to it, and uh, if you really want to go super, super hardcore and do a ton of things, you can, and you'll have tons of pieces of loot to pick from. At the end of the week, though, you still only get one item out of this. It doesn't matter how many of those slots you fill in, you're still getting only a single piece of loot. So keep that in mind. Um, that being said, I do like the system because it kind of makes RNG less of a factor because when you get nine pieces of loot, surely one of them will be an upgrade, I would like to think. <laughs> so it, it gives you a lot of options. Now, let's break it down into how these categories are obtained. So the raids one. It's, um, as you would expect, doing the raid unlocks the loot. So the first um, first item you're going to get in this category is after you defeat three bosses. The second one is seven bosses, and the third one is ten bosses. So each time you hit one of those milestones, you're going to unlock a new piece of loot. And it is defined by the level of the bosses that you kill. So if we look here, Let's say I kill Shriekwing, Huntsman, Altamore, and uh, Sun King Salvation on normal. I now have a piece of loot unlocked at the end of the week in the raids category. But that piece of loot is not defined by just the three bosses that I killed. Actually, it includes all of the bosses up to Sludge Fist, so you can get any of the loot from him and everything before him from that tier. So. I did a normal three bosses of Shriek Wing, Huntsman Altamore, and Sun King Salvation. I now have a chance at any of the loot up to and including Sludge Fist. To unlock the last two, you actually have to kill them. So it's to try and... Because usually the last two bosses um, typically contain loot that's way better than everything else in the dungeon. And um, they don't want you to have access to that without actually having to kill the monster themselves. So they don't want you having... Stone Legion Generals and Sire Denathrius' loot, unless you're actually killing them. So, let's say I kill all ten bosses. I now have three pieces of loot. But in those ten bosses, I actually killed seven of them on Heroic. So now my first two pieces of loot are going to be um, Heroic loot, up to and including the Sludge Fist guy. But the last piece of loot will be a normal piece of loot that includes every single boss since I did all 10 on normal and I only did 7 on heroic but I can still get loot in heroic all the way up to and including sludge fist so that's how the raids one works uh, let's go into the PvP one next it's actually pretty simple like you would expect so PvP you just earn honor from raided PvP so your raided battlegrounds your arenas let's say you as long as you're doing that, you're going to unlock these pieces of loot. And uh, the only defining factor is getting the amount, which 6250, that's your um, honor from rated PvP for the max amount of pieces of loot. So you get all three if you've unlocked that much honor doing uh, arenas or RBGs. And then the loot itself, the item level, is defined by your own personal rating in those respective categories. So the higher your um, rating, the better the pieces of loot that are going to come out of that. So really all it is is push as hard as you can and uh, just get a huge rating and you'll get much better pieces of the loot. Pretty simple, straightforward. Uh, PvP one is, uh, like I said, straightforward. Okay, and for the last category, the Mythic Dungeons, um, it's a little bit confusing, but it's not really once you understand it. Um, it rewards a high amount of effort is all I can say. So. As you can see, it breaks down to three tiers. Complete one Mythic Dungeon, complete four Mythic Dungeons, and complete ten Mythic Dungeons. So the way this works is they take the highest key and the lowest key in all of your dungeons that fit into that category. 
So to complete one dungeon means your highest key that you completed that week is going to be the one that's counting. And that's because it's only counting a single iteration. So it doesn't matter how many dungeons you've done that week. Your highest in that category is your highest key since it's one dungeon. So if you want to get a 226 piece of loot next week, you want to do a Mythic 14. That will unlock the highest item level that you can get in that category. But if you want a 226 piece of loot in the complete four Mythic Keystone Dungeons category, you're going to have to do four Mythic 14s. And it's because, again, it's taking the highest and the lowest in that category of dungeons. So if you did a 14 that week, but then every other key you did that week is 12 or lower, so you did a 14, a 12, a 12, a 12, a 12, a 12, an 8, and a 6, it's going to be a 12. That's because it's taking your four highest keys in that category. So it's going to take from those 12s, it's going to go, you did a 14, 12, 12, 12, 12, there's a 12 key in that category. But then your complete 10 Mythic Keystone Dungeons is going to include everything. So you did all those 12s, and then you did an 8, a 6, and a bunch of 2s. If 2 is the lowest in that category, that's what it's putting in that one. So... If you want to fill those up and make them max item level every single week, it means you have to do that many keystones at max level every single week. So you want the complete 10 Mythic Keystone Dungeons to include a 20, 226 piece of loot that week too? That's 10 plus 14s that week. It can be a bit of a grind for people, and um, I would say, worst case scenario, each week just do one Mythic Keystone at max level because that's still going to give you the max item level loot in that category and um, I know some weeks can be absolutely brutal in Mythic Plus so that's how you'll want to do it uh, if you can obviously fill in all three of those categories with max item level because 226 loot is higher than um, heroic item level gear and uh, a lot of people, you know, it'll be a while before they're getting into Mythic Castle Nathria, so that 226 loot is a big upgrade, and uh, you want to be doing that. Anyways, I hope this was helpful. I hope it was uh, explanatory. I hope the pictures made a little sense. And, um, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.